You, tonight, an important approval from City Council could make the difference in seeing major developments in downtown Rochelle. 13 WREX's Shannon Taylor spoke with one local business owner who shares the challenges they face as improvements continue. The city of Rochelle is no stranger to bringing improvements to its downtown, and pretty soon a $2.5 million approval will keep them coming. The majority of it is infrastructure, I would say. Yep. Um, and then, you know, there's some properties that have been vacant for 20, 25 years within our downtown that we want to look at them and just say, you know, what, how can we bring new life to those properties? Along with another $1.5 million grant from the state, an option for more money is on the table to see changes in the city's downtown Tift district. It would be new money, so we would work with our financial advisor to sell bonds in the markets, and investors would buy those bonds at a rate, and then we would use those dollars and, and invest them in the TIF, and then the TIF, we would pledge future TIF revenues to pay the bonds back over time. This main road on 2nd Avenue and Main Street is one of those roads to see those improvements. However, this main road here is home to several local businesses and homes who say this construction can cause a little bit of an issue, especially when it comes to parking. An inconvenience one local salon and her customers have dealt with for the past three weeks. So then we had to send them over to that parking lot, but then the people that live up in the buildings to the right of us, um, they were getting frustrated with us because we were taking up their parking spots, even though it's public parking. The salon's clientele even shrunk due to construction, but are hopeful they return when the road is complete. I mean, hopefully they come back and once it's all done, they'll be able to just park right next to the building and not have to walk from across the building. In Rochelle, Shannon Taylor, 13 WREX. And the city manager hopes to present the item again in future city council meetings for approval and hopes to begin planning for improvements come next year.